Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. We're doing our eight-box mock draft season. Football mixer, Ram team break number one from jazbeeshobbyland.com. Big thanks to these folks for filling this, filling this up uh, rather quickly. And all football teams are in. It is mock draft time, mock draft season time. Uh, let's roll the dice. Nine times, four and a five. Nine times for each list. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Right? Nine times. I can count. Mark Glassman on the pole, all the way down to Scott V. And four and a five, nine times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine times, we got the Texans on top and the Titans on the bottom. Trades are allowed. Feel free to trade. Most of these are 2017. Couple 2015 boxes, one 2016 box, two 2016 boxes, two 2015 boxes, three 2015 boxes, three. That's just kind of a good mix, actually. Uh, Mark with the Texans, John with the uh, Redskins, Joe Foster with the Seahawks, Reggie with the Bills, Steve with the Bengals, Alex with the Jaguars, Karen with the Cowboys, Alex with the Cardinals, Curtis Erickson with the Giants, Eric O with the 49ers, Bulldog fan, Will, you got the Packers, Tyrone with the Colts, Sam Golden, last spot mojo, Philadelphia Eagles. John Watson, Dolphins, Eric O with the Rams, Alex Carmichael, Vikings, and the Bolts. Eddie with the Browns, Greg with the Buccaneers, Sam, you got my Raiders. Michael Gallucci with the Panthers, Big Boys, 007, Jets, Chad with the Broncos, Mike Bobby with the Bears. Allen with the Chiefs, Eddie Smith with the Falcons, Saints going to Michael Butler. Sam Roll with the Patriots, Nathaniel with the Lions, Chris Parent with the Ravens, Gavin, you got the Steelers, and Scott V with the Titans. Let's sort by column B, by team. A lot of trade offers. Bills are, are are available. Cardinals are for trade. Patriots are for trade. Browns and Falcons up for trade. Cardinals for Falcons. There you go. Yeah, actually throw out some actual offers there. I think that'll that'll be a little more effective than just saying that a particular team is available. At least that's what I've noticed. If you want your trade to be successful, like Alex Carmichael just did. Cardinals for Falcons. Bird team for bird team. Eddie. Remember, two 2015 boxes. Tech. Uh, a couple 2016 boxes right here. The uh, Signature Series and that playbook. 2016, uh, 2015 playbook right here. So there's three 2015s, and then these three right here on your right side are 2017. So get it going, folks. Eagles for Chiefs, perhaps? Jets are up for trade. Patriots for Cowboys, maybe, Karen? I see trade offers out there, but not seeing anybody actually confirming the trades. Steelers for Eagles, perhaps? Giants are up for trade? Allen's going to hold on, on to the Chiefs. I, I'm seeing a lot of, I mean, if, if you're watching the replay on YouTube, feel free to fast forward through this part. But I am seeing a lot of trade action happening, or a lot of trade talk, trade chatter is happening. But I don't know if anybody's actually pulling the trigger at the moment. Maybe Giants for Patriots? All right, Sam's gonna, Sam Golden's going to stand on that one. All right, I think we're just going to have to go unless someone knocks out a trade. Oh, Curtis Erickson says yes to what? Giants Patriots, all right.
I know, Gavin. I see it. All right, Giants Patriots confirmed. So, Sam, you now have the Giants. Put a T next to that. Curtis Erickson, you now have the Patriots. We'll put a T next to that. All right, trade window closed. Let's rock and roll. There we go. We have another mixer on the site, folks. Jaspieshobbyland.com. We do have another mixer on the site. It's a multi-sport hybrid mixer if you want to check that out. And that's almost full. There's the 23rd right there. It's February Jordan. Today. There's the trade, the T. There's the last Bob Mojo for Sam Golden. And here we go, folks. Uh, let's start with, what should we start with? Let's start with Prism Football. Let's start with the present. A lot of cards in here. We'll start with this one first. Good luck, folks. Oh, Eric, oh, your laptop died. Oh, you're, but you're back, though. Yeah, you have the, you have the Niners. All right, good luck, folks. Speaking of mock drafts, let's take a look at a mock draft. One of my favorite mock draft websites, this is free publicity for these guys, is Walter Football, walterfootball.com. Uh, year to year, have a really clean site, like it's almost a basic site. But uh, they've got a lot of uh, good analysis here. So they recently did uh, update their mock draft page yesterday. Uh, they have the Cleveland Browns. Now, obviously, it's hard to mock draft now just because there are so many uh, quarter, like free agent quarterbacks that are out there that could potentially be signed by some of these teams. But as of now, not counting on any of that, obviously everything will change when that happens. But Cleveland Browns are number one. Saquon Barkley is what Walter Football is guessing, the running back from Penn State. At two, New York Giants picking Josh Rosen. Although a lot of New York Giants fans will tell me that Davis Webb is going to get a, an opportunity after Eli. Bradley Chubb for the Colts, a defensive end from North Carolina State going to the Colts. Cleveland Browns also have the number four pick, Baker Mayfield. And rounding out the top five will be Quentin Nelson from Notre Dame, guard for the Denver Broncos. So there you go. Uh, we did not, Jeff Renish. Uh, we traditionally do not do first off the line. We like our distributors. All right, here we go. Our first auto of the mixer is 77 out of 99, Green Scope. Green Scope, our Darius Stewart. So what does everyone think about that top five right there? Baker Mayfield at four. Jets, that'll be Big Boys 007. Eddie Smith says, I think Giants go Barkley at two. I see. So you, you think the you think the Browns will pass on Saquon Barkley? Yeah, I don't think the Giants will go for a quarterback that early, in my opinion. There's Terrell Pryor Sr., Just didn't quite click last year. Sam Golden says Baker's going to Denver. So is this the this is out of one forty nine by the way Redskins that goes to John Ryder. Is that is this the assumption that that Brown the Browns are not gonna are gonna get a quarterback elsewhere like in free agency or something? Or maybe they just don't. Maybe they just pick someone else. Kenny Britt for the Browns. Speaking of the Browns, that goes to Eddie Smith at a 275. Patrick Goodwin says 
He thinks the Browns will pick Baker Mayfield. I think the Browns would be better served just getting a more established quarterback and not worrying about it. There's Ezekiel Elliott, and there's return of the Mac Mac Hollins. For your Super Bowl champs, Philadelphia Eagles, Sam Golden, last spot mojo. Out of 275 on that one, Eagles. Ed Mart says Nick's, uh, or, uh, Nick is saying that Giants will likely trade if they don't go QB early. Browns need to take two QBs to Sam Golden. Oh, I see. So Eddie's saying Browns take Sam Darnold or Josh Allen, which allows Baker Mayfield to fall a little, little bit. Nice. I knew this was a little different. 71 out of 81. Randy Moss, Patriots edition. That goes to Curtis Erickson and the New England Patriots. He got him in a trade. And there's Elijah Qualls for the Fly Eagles Fly. That goes to Sam Golden. I don't know. I just think the Browns would be better served getting a more established quarterback, even if it's like A.J. McCarron or something, which they all, which they almost tried to get if it were not for a cleric or error. Uh, because they've just had so, such poor luck with quarterbacks. I mean, so much pressure out of the gate for those quarterbacks anyway, right out of the gate. There's Nathan Peterman for the Bills. Bills need a quarterback too, actually. That goes to Reggie. 13 out of 49. Red, I think they call it, it's an X-Fractor, but they call it something else, like Red Power or something like that. Kirk won't go to the, what if, they, what if the Browns just throw ungodly guaranteed money at Kirk Cousins? Eddie Lacy for the Seahawks. I'm sure the, I'm sure the Browns have the cap space. Eddie Lacy for the Seahawks. Out of 199. Booney, who's in, who's in Ohio, says, I think the Browns have no choice but to take a QB at number one. So they're going to pass on Saquon Barkley? Tease Tabor, out of 199 for the Lions. Nathaniel with the Lions. Sam Golden saying that everyone thinks Denver will get Cousins, but Elway doesn't want to be handicapped by the cap. That makes sense. Ed Mark's thinking Jets, Vikings, or Broncos for the for Kirk Cousins, by the way. There's Tannehill. Who do I think the Raiders will pick in the NFL draft? I actually think the Raiders just gonna are gonna go like all all defense, pretty much. Usually traditionally they'll go best available, but I think they're it's gonna be best available defense, I think. I mean, if there's someone they really like on offense that falls to them, I'm sure they'll go for it, but there's Sammy Watkins, Rams edition. Jets could make a big run at Cousins. That could be interesting. Out of 275, there's Sammy Watkins, Rams edition. There's a super fractor coming up. And that super is Tease Tabor. That goes to Nathaniel Carter and the Detroit Lions. It's five out of five. I think it's gold vinyl, actually. Five out of five. Still a train whistle. Nathaniel on board the Big Hit, Big Hit Express. Gets to pull the train whistle. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo! That's a catch. Marquise Lee for the Jags. That'll go to Alex Carmichael. 46 out of 49. A lot of parallels in this. And Curtis Samuel. Autograph for the Panthers. Michael Gallucci. Seal curtain with the Panthers. Nice. Booty saying Barkley is a great player, but too high. Too high of a pick for the running back. Last time the Browns took a running back in the top five was a complete bust. Trent Richardson. To be fair, I feel like a lot of the top five picks have been, have been busts, right? No, that's not fair. There's got to be some good ones in there. All right, that was box one. Box two of this mixer will go with playoff. Then we'll go old school to finish off the break.
Yeah, I feel like the offensive line is is okay. It's pretty solid. I mean, if you look at the numbers, like the Browns running game actually did pretty decently. So their running game was always kind of decent. So I think their whole line's okay. They just it's really the quarterback. And their defense actually has a lot of good individuals too, if you take a look at their defense. But um, but I mean really it's as almost as simple as as quarterback. Once you got that solved, then you could start then all the other dominoes will fall. You know what I mean? Then it's like, oh okay, then we can work on other position players, then we'll work on coaching, then we'll work on schemes, then we'll work on overall philosophy, etc. 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 But it just goes to show you just how, how crucial that quarterback position is. Uh, look how much money the Niners threw at Jimmy Garoppolo. Look how much money the Raiders paid uh, Derek Carr a couple years ago. Uh, Kirk Cousins is going to get a ton of money. You know, like It's a quarterback-driven league. You hear all the pundits say it, and it's, and it's true. The way the rules have slightly adjusted over the years, it all favors quarterback play. That's why it becomes so important. All right, good luck, everybody. This is playoff. That's out of 99. This trio right here for the Giants. There's our first relic. Blake Bortles, 7 out of 99. Air Command. Where does Blake Bortles go? Is he a free agent or they're not going to, or they can't afford him? I don't know, something like that. Right, imagine what Drew Brees, what, what old man Drew Brees is going to get. Hiller, what's going on, man? Case Keenum could be yeah, well. What what is that brings up the interesting question? What does Minnesota do with their QB situation? They've got nobody, right? I think Sam Bradford's a free agent. Uh, Case Keenum's a free agent. Teddy Bridgewater, free agent, I think. The Vikings signed Cousins. True. Although people in Minnesota will seem to suggest that uh, seem to suggest that they're gonna go with Keenum, and then, and then let the other two go, let the other two walk. Maybe draft a QB late in the late in the draft or something like that. Try to find a diamond in the rough that they could develop. There's Taiwan Taylor autograph. 62 out of 199 for the Titans. Scott V with the Titans. So Booney thinks that they go with Josh, that, that, that uh, Booney's Browns thinks that they go Josh Allen at number one, hopes that Barkley falls to four, or try and trade up a spot or two with a plethora of picks that they have and then take Barkley. If not, hold Pat and take make, take Minka Fitzpatrick, something like that. Sounds about right. I could see the Jets going big on a quarterback. Patrick is saying that the Jets will give Kirk Cousins a one-year deal for $60 million. It's a lot of money for just a year. I don't think Kirk Cousins wants to do one-year deals anymore. There's Xavier Rhodes out of 99 for the Vikings. I don't think that's the way to get Kirk Cousins. Kirk Cousins is the bell of the ball. He wants a multi-year deal, he wants a lot of money, and he wants to pick where he goes to play. He's gonna, he's gonna find what's best for Kirk Cousins. He's been... Uh, Jerked around too much by the Redskins. I think he wants a little stability in his life. He wants to settle down somewhere. They're certified cuts. Good luck, everybody. There could be some surprises here in certified cuts. A cut auto, maybe. Oh, Drowski's saying that it'll be for more than one year 
for Kirk Cousins, but it would be $60 million in the first year, so they'll front load it. Wow. Michael House says, hot take, Cousins goes to the Browns. Is Josh Gordon coming? Where's, what's Josh Gordon's situation? If you could sell Kirk Cousins on, 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 uh, on throwing to Josh Gordon for an entire season, man, that could be interesting. Dear Kirk Cousins, we have Josh Gordon. Remember what he did in 2013 or 12 or whatever. Love Cleveland Browns. XOXO Cleveland Browns. All right, good luck, everybody. Let me get these blank cards out of my way here. Ah, a lot of expectations. Great expectations for Patrick Mahomes. How do you guys think Mahomes will do? Uh, already anointed as starter. Uh, out of 399, D'Angelo Henderson for the Broncos. We've got Marshawn Lattimore. There's your defensive. Rookie Player of the Year, 71 out of 199 for the Saints. That goes to Michael Butler and the Saints. Okay, so Josh Gordon has one year left on his rookie deal, so he'll be playing for a big contract and hopefully stay off, stay off the dope. Right. Get paid first, Josh Gordon. And we got three out of 49. Nice certified cuts, Mike Williams. A little three color patch in that corner there too. That looks nice. That goes to the Chargers, the Bolts. Alex Carmichael on the Chargers. Mike Williams, a healthy Mike Williams could be pretty dangerous. Three out of 49. <laughs> yeah, I do. My MH say, remember when we laughed at Nick Jaspi at the beginning of the football season when he said the Eagles will win the Super Bowl? Yeah, I, I remember telling them that they were crazy. Four out of ten great expectations, John Ross. I was actually talking with Jason not too long ago, and, and he was just like, yeah, and even I thought that was crazy talk by Mike and Nick Jasby. There's Charles Haley, 264 at 299. But pretty amazing season, actually. This guy, this guy won me a prop bet. Two, actually. One of the few I won. That was not a good prop day for me. Josh Reynolds, future legends relic. Is he? Future legends? There it go. And Dalvin Cook. I thought, there was, I thought there was gonna be ink on that. Future Legends Relic. This guy could be a future legend. Vikings Relic, that's for Alex Carmichael. And there's Robert Kelly, 25 out of 99 for the Redskins. All right, so that's 2017. Now let's start going into the older stuff. Let's do a couple boxes of playbook. We'll start with old 2015 playbook, featuring these guys, of course. So if you have the Buccaneers or the Titans, this is your moment to shine. one of these blank cars to slow play some of these hits. We've got a Jim Kelly and a Thurman Thomas, 80 out of 99. Nice one for the Bills, Reggie with the Bills. Then we've got a Triple Relic, all Panthers. Triple Threats, 24 out of 1, 199. Cam Newton, Devin Funches, and Kelvin Benjamin. Big Boys 007 feels a Bryce Petty coming. Well, that'll make you, that'll make you very happy. You have the Jets. Pretty good odds at a Bryce Petty, actually. 
Uh, it's a Sean Mannion. Out of 25, though. Two out of 25, Sean Mannion. Nice. It's got a little, I don't know what that play is. A spider two-eye banana, maybe? Nice Sean Mannion book for the Rams. That'll be for Eric O and the Rams. All right, now let's go a year ahead from 2015 to 2016. Obviously, guys like this is who you're looking for. And veterans like that. He was just like, I don't want another one of those Bryce Petty's. It looks like a one of one. I have like 60 autos of that dude. There is first ballot Hall of Famer Eli Manning, 57 out of 199. Right? Obviously. Uh, looks like maybe an autograph and then a book. This is just a base card that goes to Sam. Uh, Sam Roll on the Giants. And another Giant. We got Paul Perkins Relic. There you go. 190 out of 199. Mammoth Materials. One ninety out of one ninety nine. Sam Roll on the Giants in the book. Red team. Speaking of the Browns, well, give Cody Kessler a chance. Dual relic and autograph. Cody Kessler, one hundred five out of one ninety nine for the Cleveland Browns. Eddie Smith is also the Eddie Smith thinking the same thing. Eddie Smith. Who has his book now is just like, yeah, give Kessler a shot. I want that va value of that card to go up. All right. Donner Signature Series. All right, good luck, folks. Yeah, that's right, Jeff Renich. Yeah, Kessler's the go, right? And he's saying, Kessler's the GOAT. He needs him to be the GOAT. He wants him to be the GOAT. Gotta be the GOAT. Give Kessler a shot. Uh, Quentin Rollins, Green Bay Packers. That'll go to Will. Will Comstock with that one. We've got another Packer, Will. How about Kenny Clark? 5 out of 15. Nice low number on that one. There you go, nice Kenny Clark out of 15. Then we have a redemption and Aaron Burbridge for the Niners. That'll go to Eric O and the 49ers. James Davison was asking earlier, who do you think the Chargers will draft? O-line maybe? Probably defense. Safety corner or go, go O-line. That makes sense. Chargers are actually set up pretty well. The uh, the redemption is rookie jersey signature series. Tyler Irvin for the Texans. That'll go to Mark Glassman. Yeah, I think the Chargers want to want to improve that defense a little bit. All right, last two boxes will be 2015 Tops High Tech Football. We're closing with this because we don't see this too often. It's kind of special. I could see them looking for an heir to, to Phillip Rivers. Maybe they'll, I don't think it's a huge priority, but maybe they'll look for someone in later rounds. Try to find a diamond in the rough. All right. So all the cards will ship in this. Nice Brett Favre, 55 out of 99 for Will and the Packers. 
Wow, and another pat. Will cro closing this break strong. Will Comstock with a 14 out of 99 Clay Matthews autograph. Nice on card auto for Will Comstock. Nice. So we've got Philip Dorsett, John Riggins. I think that might be a shorter print for the Rams. We'll ship all of those, though. Nice. And the last box. Good luck, everybody. This was a nice mixer. Some nice conversation in this chat, too. It's football definitely a, a year-round sport for us. We discuss it year-round. We break it year-round. All on jazbeeshobbyland.com. The draft's going to happen before we know it. Draft time before we know it. All right, there's John Elway. And a, char a stealer at the end. 17 out of 50, Sammy Coates. So Gavin with a little something at the end. I know, I saw you say that three times now, Patrick. It's, I mean, I guess, maybe, probably not. <laughs> and there's Ryan Tannehill. And John Elway, our friend Sean Mannion. And there you have it, folks. Sammy Coates, though, going to Gavin at the very end. And there you have it. That's your break, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Joe, for jazbeeshobbyland.com, do I have anything to randomize or anything? Nothing, right? No, oh, it's a nice, clean break. That was our eight-box, but it's mock draft season. Eight-box mock draft mixer, uh, random team break number one. A lot of good draft talk. Uh, I'm sure we'll have some sort of promo as we lead up towards a draft, actual draft day in a couple of months on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.